Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about logical and physical memory. Welcome here and we are talking about uh, logical and physical memory. To understand logical and the physical memory, we have to see multi-step processing of a user program. Okay, and here multi-step processing of user program means uh, after writing a program and after that generation of executable code, what are the different steps are being followed? Okay, so that is the multi-step processing and here the first is your source program and then we compile or assembler will do this compilation and finally object module will be generated and object module is nothing but your assembly code okay assembly code is generated then what this object module does is it take the other object module and that link together okay by uses linkage editor okay now for example uh, that your program may have a reference of let's say a printf function some printf value suppose percent d and let's say comma a so percent d comma a so statement is there but that definition is in is this that is in std io file the standard input output file dot h file okay so we have to bridge the link between both of them and for that we need a link editor Okay, now after that uh, the program is uh, is having a, a single uh, single source program and it consists of all the module links together. Okay, and that is by linkage editor. Now we are loading the load module. Okay, there is a load module and what it, what it does it it take everything from the system library. Okay, and then it will load the program. And then dynamically linking may be also done that uh, dynamically loaded uh, system library and in memory in a binary memory image and this is execution time. Okay. So this is the entire part. So we have a compiler assembler, then we have a linker, then finally we have a loader. Okay. So this is the multi-step processing of a user program. In this uh, uh, here also uh, other object module is coming in link editor, other uh, system library is coming in uh, another leader and dynamically loaded library is coming in this in this maybe uh, i have told you this context of other module other object module this may be another file also but i have i told you this example in terms of system library and that is coming here actually actually this printf will be added here just to sake of an example i told you this uh, that can be another different files and huh? other different files that needed to be uh, attached together. Now, okay, so if we want to address the memory, then the real problem is that after writing a program, okay, after writing a program, you cannot know that in which memory location your program will be loaded. Cannot know ahead of time. In, where in memory the program will be loaded we cannot say this thing okay compiler produce the code con uh, containing embedded address that the address cannot be absolute means the physical address now compiler it compiler produces a code uh, uh, containing embedded address like, like here in that case embedded address means that uh, compiler responsibility will not be to have uh, absolute code means the fixed memory location Okay, so that that address is something different. What it is trying to say here is this: that suppose this is instruction one, and this is your add r one r two. Second instruction is suppose subtract r three r four. Fourth instruction is suppose div a div r six r seven, and next instruction may be load r1 a okay now these are the instructions and this is how this um, compiler produces code will look like now what compiler will do it will assign addresses okay symbolic addresses so this is zero and suppose this is i1 i2 i3 and i4 and suppose size of i1 uh, size of suppose i1 is equal to 2 byte the so first address is zero Second address will be what? Second address will be in this case. 
first address is 0, second address will become 1. Sorry, second address will become because size is uh, size is 2, so this will become 2. Third address will become of size of i2. Size of i2 suppose is equal to 4 byte. The next address will be 6. So 0 and 1 will be occupied here. Then this and this. So these address are not absolute address. And these address are assigned by the compiler and these are not absolute address. These are uh, the word used here in this case is embedded address or symbolic address. Okay, So that is being attached to symbolic address. Uh, linker combines piece of the program and assume that uh, that will be loaded from the memory address 0. We need to bind the compile and linker address generated to actual memory location. Okay, So now there are two, two things are there that we, we are having one address that is symbolic. Okay, That is not the actual address. Okay, And that is generated by what? That is generated by compiler. Okay, so compiler generated address and that is not actual address. So what we need to do is we need to bind the compiler or linker generated address to the physical memory location and that is the requirement. So here uh, relocation and address generation compilation it's a program there is a there is a function foo and this is end p and here in this case is some it's written in the form of jump and then foo. And in assembly code, this will become push and then it will become jump to 75. Now here in assembly, you see the first location is assigned with this 0. And now this is the address of foo. Okay, and address of foo has been assigned to location 75. And that statement written here in this case is jump 75. Uh, during the link time, we have find that there are some library routines are there that has been linked. So now it linked library itself is now containing the address 0 to 99 and same 0 address that was at location P now becomes 100 and 75 where foo is there that become 175. So now address are been changing address are symbolically we are representing it So here up to here 0 to 75 was there in assembly time. The moment we link there will be some space occupied by the library routine like this space occupied by the library routine and uh, and then it the same 0 becomes 100 and this becomes 175. Now at, at finally I come to know that my address will be loaded from 1000 memory location and that is my physical address. Okay, that I come to know that 1000 physical address location, it will be loaded. So that what th one zero becomes 1000. That means we added the value 1000 into this. In which one? Everyone. Uh, 100 become 1100, 175 become 1175. So that is address binding and address binding is a... Uh, what is address binding? Fixing a physical address of a logical address is space of a process. Okay, now I'll come back to the statement. Compile time binding is what come if the program location fixed and known ahead of time. Load time binding is what if a program location of the memory is unknown until runtime and location is fixed. And execution time binding is uh, is what if processor processor can move in memory during execution, then uh, and it required hardware support. So there are three different kinds of bindings are there. Uh, where what is the bind what we are binding here in this case is we are binding a fixing of physical address what is address binding fixing a physical address of logical address of a process address space the first thing you notice that which address we are calling it as a logical address the logical addresses are those address which are generated by your compiler compiler generated symbolic address compiler generated symbolic address are called logical address okay so that we are calling it as that so now that will be mapped to what that will be mapped to some physical address so fixing a physical address of a logical address space of a process is called basically binding. Um, now when you are going to fix it, at compile time you are going to fix, this, fix it that uh, at compile time I know the address of physical memory. Right. 
okay if i know this thing if a program location is fixed and node ahead of the time load time binding if the program location is location is in the memory unknown location if program location in memory is unknown until the run time and location is fixed okay so in both the cases program location is fixed and known at the ahead of time program location is unknown until run time and location is fixed so that is your load time binding huh? so that is uh, when you're loading but we know that uh, it will be loaded from 1000 load time binding but uh, it is not known that 1000 is the memory location but it is it is unknown but it is fixed and the last one is the exec uh, execution time binding if the process can be moved during uh, moved in memory during execution even in execution time also it can be moved then it called the execution time binding to compile uh, known fixed location uh, location is not known uh, it's not known which location but it is fixed and here it can move around anywhere uh, and that require the hardware support okay so this is the uh, idea you can say of uh, of uh, compile time binding that 0 100 and compile time binding is something i know the uh, i know that it will be loaded it is from fixed location directly into the memory okay and in execution time binding there will be a base address and that will be here in this case will be 1000 okay and there this using this base address i can move it to anywhere suppose i change it to uh, in execution time binding i change it to uh, suppose this base address is 4000 okay so it's really unknown an execution time binding load time binding is also same but here the location remain unknown okay so only hardware support means i need a base register and that is your hardware support needed okay and you change the value and it can move anywhere anywhere in the anywhere in the uh, anywhere in in memory okay we can move it okay so it's not it's not compulsory that you will get this this location is known and fixed this location is unknown but it is fixed load time binding and execution time it can move anywhere and require the hardware support okay guys so now uh, that laid the foundation of logical versus physical address space and the concept of the logical address space is bound to separate the physical address space is the in, is central to proper memory management okay the concept of logical address space that is bound to a separate physical address is a central for proper memory management logical address space generated by the cpu also generated as virtual address a compiler generated addresses okay compiler generated physical addresses address seen by the memory in the actual address logical and physical addresses are same in compile time and load time address binding scheme okay so whatever it's fixed okay both the cases what the idea here in this case is fixed so logical and physical address scheme uh, will have uh, are same in the compile and load time address binding okay because the reason is here in this case is fixed whereas in uh, differ in case of execution time runtime binding because at the runtime base address will decide address I will decide where it will be loaded. The logical address is a set of all logical address generated by the program. Physical address set of all is generated by the program. Actual in the memory. The last here part is your MMU. That what exactly you know this uh, memory management has been done, and that is your memory management unit. Hardware device that runtime maps virtual to physical address. So logical address to physical address that mapping has been done is basically done by the memory management unit. The main task of this memory management unit is mapping. Okay, mapping what address generated by the CPU or program or compiler, symbolic address. Okay, mapping of symbolic address to actual address. 
okay uh, many methods are possible covered uh, in the rest of this uh, chapter fine that is okay to start with the simple scheme uh, where the value of the relocation register is uh, added in every address generated by a user and send it to the memory base register is called the relocation register so that is one of the you know basic way of um, uh, memory management unit and that is mainly managed by using a base register uh, and that is called the base register or it is called as a relocation register okay so this is first you know one of the most primitive you know memory management technique here in this case the user program deals with logical address and it never see the real physical address execution time binding occurs when the reference is made to the made to the leg uh, reference is made to the location in memory logical uh, addresses are bound to the physical addresses okay so and that is something uh, uh, dynamic relocation by relocation i already told you this uh, that routine is not loaded until it is called okay routine is not loaded in the memory until it is been called any routine uh, better memory space utilization unused routine never called okay so that is leading into a dynamic real reallocation uh, leading into a better better utilization until because we are not calling the when the function will be called then only it will be loaded or routines are kept in the disk into relocatable load format uh, useful when the large amount of the codes are needed to handle frequently occur cases Okay, so no special support from operating system required. Implemented from the user through program and help in the library. So this is CPU and the logical address, the address generated by the program, comes here in this case three three forty six. There is a relocation register and it will be loaded into the memory three uh, fourteen thousand three forty six. Okay, so that is something uh, that is logical and address binding with logical and physical address so this is the different multi step processing then we have a addressing of memory and i explained you what is exactly the address symbolic address embedded address and actual address both are different here i told you that what exactly is the relocated relocatable address generation compilation assembly linking and finally loading this is your address binding that fixing of physical address to a logical address of the process and we have three different cases compile load and execution time binding and the definition wise is location is fixed known ahead of time location is not fixed a location is fixed but unknown and here we only know during this we require the hardware support okay so this is what exactly it is how it is look like Okay, and then I describe you the difference between logical and physical address space. Uh, logical is the CPU generated address. Physical address is the address seen by the memory unit. Okay, so that is the idea. MMU is the basically the responsible this mapping. Okay, that mapping from a virtual address to physical address. Many methods are possible, but here the most primitive method that we are using here in this case is the re relocation register. Okay, and what is the advantage of it? Is the routine is not loaded until it is called better utilization and all are kept ready into the disk in the relocatable load format. Okay, and very useful when you have a large number of code in this case. Okay, so I think the idea of uh, entire logical and physical address will be clear to you. Okay, so that's all for this discussion. Thank you.